Hey guys, Rob, Sigma 3 Survival School. Um, been doing a lot of water procurement stuff here lately, and I want to teach y'all another technique. Believe it or not, this is actually a grapevine. We have some stuff down here in Arkansas that I swear looks prehistoric. I mean, I cut this yesterday and just made just a tiny, tiny little poke at it with my knife, and it's still running water. And this is one of my main go-to techniques in the, the winter and in the uh, early spring especially for procuring water down here near the Arkansas River because the Arkansas is like just notoriously dirty and nasty. Um, so I like to use method like, like this instead of actually using a filter uh, to get it directly from the source. Getting it from a plant is a much better uh, way to do it. So it's the same thing as, as we did last time. Basically with grapevine you just make you a notch and you can just see the water just flying out of here and a lot of the times you you need to make a notch higher up up here uh, it's not entirely necessary look look at how that water's just running out of there that's just nuts how much water's in this vine right now I'm gonna probably fill this canteen within 20 minutes so I'm going to strap this to the tree, make myself a little dripper stick, and it'll be good to go. All right. Look right here, and that is how much water is just running down this vine, just naturally following right from where we notched it. If I was to cut this entire vine, we would get such a massive amount of water, it would be ridiculous. Alright, so I've got one strapped up here, and it's running like crazy. I made a little nick, and then the, the trick with this is you have to really angle the stick perfectly in order to get it to drip down, and you're still going to lose some anyway. But we're getting so much overwash uh, here that I can basically just jam my canteen up right up where it's running and I can fill this in two spots and I guarantee this these things both of these canteens will be full in about a half hour maybe 45 minutes tops and we'll come back and show you the finished product so as you can see this is a smaller about thumb size vine like I was talking about and you can see the water on the smaller vines isn't going to drip out quite as fast but if you use this technique typically I'll cut it and let it set overnight it's not going to be as good as tapping a tree in prime time season or having a really large vine but uh, you know when I go to when I go to sleep at night you know I'll set my canteen out under one of these vines and let it fill up and have uh, have some fresh water in the morning now one thing to keep in mind guys is that this water won't keep forever. It's got sugar content in it. So anything that you tap um, will begin to ferment within 24 to 48 hours. It's got lots of vitamins, nutrients, minerals, sugars, things like that. But it won't keep forever. So use the stuff that you got when you get it. Now typically when you do a technique like this, most books will tell you to cut uh, the vine because you typically don't have large grape vines like this. And that is a good method, and it will fill your canteen fairly quickly. Obviously, it kills, you know, or it really severely damages the plant. The shoot will still grow back up, but it'll take years to get back to what it previously was. So if you have a large grapevine, then you don't have to cut them. You can tap them like we're doing here. But if you only have small grapevine, maybe like thumb size or you know maybe a little bit bigger, then you're going to need to cut it and just physically like hang it right into your bottle, and water will run right down into it. Nice plan. All right guys, so it took about 45 minutes to an hour. I made one tiny notch here, a little bit, uh, one a little bit higher. You don't even have to do that on some of them. And I've got two canteens full in an hour from that. And it's starting to overflow now. So, I mean, this is a fantastic technique. Not only are you getting vitamins and nutrients and all kinds of good stuff, but it's filtering your water for you. So during certain times of the year, this is kind of my go-to technique because it's really just the best way to purify your water. Not even a filter can beat this. And 
you know, when you're when you're hydrating, at least for survival, uh, if you don't have canteens and modern materials, you want to try to always hydrate once uh, a day, and you want to really fill up and uh, get it knocked out because you don't have time to procure water all the time, uh, like you would if you have um, you know quick materials or, or filters and iodine and things like that. So. Anyways, this is just another trick to throw in your toolbox. Um, you know, throw your commentary up on the survival forum on our website if you have any questions. And uh, as always, please help support us by subscribing. Thanks. Sigma 3 out.